Hello everyone, um, I'm back here. I wanted to share a quick video on FVS. Um, I feel like my old video is sort of outdated, so I wanted to post an updated one here. Um, first thing I wanted to point out that is helpful is this user friendly guide for the um, Western root disease model. Um, I find it a little bit more helpful than the other uh, uh, essential FES model, which is a bit more technical. So I wanted to point that out first. It might be helpful. And then um, I'm just going to jump into doing a basic run here. Um, so I have my, here's my uh, stand, uh, stand in it file that I'm using, I'm using Pacific Northwest variant. The inventory year was 1990. Uh, Region forest is 612. That's a Sayusla National Forest. Uh, my stand age is 67. Uh, these four variables I still don't really understand, but I think I reported them. I might have misreported them in the other video. So these are the values we're using for a one tenth of an acre fixed area plot. Um, the only one I really understand is this inventory plot size, since ours is one tenth of an acre. If you did one twentieth of an acre, you'd use 20 here. Um, these I don't understand, but my colleague David, he suggests we use these values and he's really smart. So, um, we're going with that. Uh, so then here I have in the tree in it file, I have, um, you know, the stand ID and all that. And then the main things here are the history. The one is being a live tree. The six is a dead tree species code, Western hemlock, dug fir, etc. And then the DBH, the diameter in inches here. The plot, I've just been leaving blank, uh, plot in it, because it's optional. Um, so then after I got my inventory spreadsheet complete and I'm happy with it, then I go ahead and open up um, FES here. Um, takes a minute to load here. Um, okay, so now that it's loaded, um, first thing I do here is I do a new, new run. Of course, it's going a little slow right now. Um, refresh, try to just restart it. Just one minute here. Give it some time to load here this time. Okay, so the first thing here I do is I do a new run. Do treatment one, stand one, save. I'm going to go ahead and import my data here, which is the spreadsheet I just showed you. Uh, treatment one, stand one, input. Wait for that to load. Go ahead and install uploaded database. Then I can go back to my runs page. Uh, here's my stand. So add selected stand. Then um, you see Pacific Northwest variant. That's what we want. Just common starting year, the inventory year. I'm going to do 2020. Common or er, 1990. Sorry. Common ending year. I'm going to do 2020. And then I want a reporting every five years. Uh, components we're not going to mess with for now. The outputs, I'm going to do tree list and inventory stats. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a run and save and run. And after it runs, the first thing I want to do for reproducibility purposes and publishing, I want to um, create this FES log file here. So then I'm going to go ahead and save this in my folder here. We're going to delete these for now. So I have my log file here. So this is FES log. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to view outputs and load my just previous run I just did. Go to explore. And then I want to download this table that gives all the predicted values. Um, from there, I'm going to go ahead and save that table and rename it FES output. And then for this final example, I'm also doing a Western root disease model run. Um, 
So I'm going to, for that, I'm just going to go here to modifiers, uh, modify Western root disease, initiate root disease. I'm interested in Felinus werii or Knepharcoria werii. Um, total stand in acres, we had um, five plots that were 0 0.05 acres. So total of 0.5 acres. Um, total root disease area in acres, we're using the default value, which for the Western root disease model is 0 0.0625 uh, because it's 25% of the total stand area in acres. Default value for disease centers is 20. Number of infected air disease centers um, is 50%. So it doesn't really matter what values you he do here as long as it's 50-50. So we're going to do 85-85. Um, and then the proportion root system infected is uh, default 0.1. Go ahead and save and run. Uh, and then the only other changes here are the western root disease variables here. And then we're going to do our run. And then when it gets finished, again, we're going to do the output file, output log file. Just gonna save in my folder here. Uh, West root disease model log, and then finally, I'm gonna go to my output and download that table that we did previously, like for the FES output. And so there you have it. Um, it's a real quick uh, example of a default run using both the FVS model and the Western root disease model. Um, hopefully this video is a little more helpful and a little bit quicker and um, it, it, it doesn't go quite into, as much into detail, but gives you a good example of what you might be able to follow. Uh, feel free to make your own videos um, and maybe you'll help other people out there. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.